How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 10 in my programming leap motion with Python series. Now this one I was not going to do, was not planning on this tutorial, but I had a question um, in the comments of one of my uh, videos, I believe it was the swipe gesture video, um, which is about getting the direction of a gesture. So I figured, you know, good question, it really is. And if someone has a question, I'm sure more of you do. So I am doing this video, and let's get started. Now, just a reminder, the swipe gesture, it's waving your hand back and forth across the uh, motion sensor from left to right, but it also detects it if you go up and down. Now, uh, yeah, so that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, we'll come back to the vector in a minute, but let's open up Notepad++. This uh, leapmotionapp.py file is the one I've been using for the entire series, but I'm not for this one. I created a new file called leapdirection.py. What you have to do, first import the leap library system, so SYS, and then the math library. Math library will come in later. And then um, I, I put in the whole uh, import statement, but I guess you don't need it. We're only focusing on the swipe gesture for this one. Um, if you want to play around with the direction of other gesture types, then leave it in. I'm just going to uh, import the swipe gesture. And that's all we're really going to be focusing on, uh, getting the direction of a swipe gesture, because it's the easiest really to work with. But you can do what I'm about to teach you with all the other uh, gesture types. So I created my leap motion listener class, which took as a parameter leap dot uh, listener. Uh, the onConnect method as parameters take self and controller. Uh, prints out that the motion sensor is connected and then we enable the uh, swipe gesture. Hopefully nothing new to you. Just remember that when you enable the swipe gesture you have to put a semicolon after it. That is important. And I'm sure uh, errors if you don't... many errors have been caused by people forgetting that. Um, and I didn't do the on initialize method or the on exit or the on disconnect. I just skipped right to the on frame, which took self and controller as parameters, created a new frame, and then uh, for the gesture in, for each gesture in frame dot gestures, we're going to check if the gesture dot type is a swipe gesture. Well, then we're going to typecast it to a swipe gesture. Right now, gesture is just a general gesture uh, class object. So we have to typecast it to the swipe gesture that we imported because each gesture type has unique methods to it. And now we actually get into working with the direction. So first I'm going to show you guys how to detect swiping left from left to right and then we'll add in uh, up and down. So swipe dir that's what I'm going to call my uh, direction vector uh, and we can get that by uh, the swipe dot direction variable. So we're going to take our swipe object and call the direction instance variable. And this is going to return a vector. This is where the vector page came in. So just to remind everyone, uh, this is not like a calculus or functions uh, 3D axis in a, you know grade 12 calculus um, or university. Uh, the uh, y-axis is this one, I believe the x1 is this one, and then the, the uh, z is that um, vector. I'm pretty sure anyway. But uh, in Leap Motion, they don't do that. They use the y and x gesture that uh, you know people who only graph 2D axes are used to. And then z is for depth. Um, this here is the center point, so 0, 0, 0. The y coordinate is always positive unless like right on the screen. Uh, there's no negative y value. To the left of center, the x value is negative. To the right, it's positive. And then um, the uh, z uh, vector is um, positive towards you. So make sure you have your green light facing you. That's important uh, for this tutorial to work. And then uh, towards the computer screen is negative z. Um, and direction, what direction is um, when a, ge a gesture is detected, the gesture has many states. So the start state, which is the first time the gesture is detected, each consecutive update is the continuation of that gesture. So, you know, um, when you swipe, the leap motion does 290 frames per second. So that swipe across it, 
a lot of frames are going to be picked up. So uh, the direction vector is um, how your gesture has progressed since the last gesture. Um, and then, of course, the end state is when, you know, your gesture stopped or, you know, it can't detect it anymore. So remember that it's just, it's a 3D vector of your change in uh, direction since the last gesture. So it has nothing to do with position, it's just the change of, uh, well, which direction you're moving in since the last gesture. Put it that way, but that also means, um, just say I'm swiping to the right. So I'm swiping from left to right. Um, well, that's going to be positive. So even if I'm over here swiping left to right, I'm on the negative x-axis, but I'm swiping left to right, so it's going to be a positive direction. And that is all important. Hopefully it will make this easier to understand. Now that we have our swipe direction, um, let's actually figure out which direction it's going, left or right. So it's really simple. We're going to create a simple if statement and say if swipe dir is greater than zero, so it's positive, um, then, so swipe dir is greater than zero, well then the hand is moving from left to right, so that must mean, you know, the person's swiping right. We're just going to do a simple print, uh, so print swipe right, but you can put anything in here inside the if statement. And otherwise, so an else statement, well, then the person is swiping left. So print swipe swiped left. And I'm going to save this. Go over to PowerShell. Oops. Okay, go over to PowerShell. I'm already in the folder where I have my uh, Python file saved. Navigate there if you haven't. Here we go. Motion sensor connected. I'm going to swipe from left to right. Okay, it didn't pick it up. I'm going to go back left. Okay, well, that time it picked up right. Okay, well, it's not picking up anything right now. All right, let's, I'm going to exit out and relaunch the program. Okay, well, it's putting right for both sides. Uh, so, if swipe direction... Oh! <laughs> I'm stupid. If it's swipe direction dot x, sorry, I messed something up there. Um, so yeah, our x direction if it's left or right. Some of you might have picked up on that. My apologies. So let's try this now. Boom. So swipe left completely worked fine. Swipe right, it didn't pick it up. We'll try again. Swipe right. Gonna go back left. It missed it. So, Okay, finally. Okay, so I'm going to go back and forth multiple times over crossed. There we go. It's picking it up. So as you can see, it works. doesn't pick it up every time, but pretty close. So we got taken care of left or right. But um, the other part of the person's question um, that I'm trying to help was, what about up and down? Up and down is possible. It's much harder because... Um, you can't just do the same thing. Uh, swipe direction dot y is positive, because even if they're moving the hand up and down, it's almost impossible to keep your uh, hand in a straight line. So you could be going slightly towards the x position. So it could print out swipe right. It would all depend on which if statement came first, sort of thing. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so there's a couple things we're gonna have to do. This is where the math library comes in. So we want to see. Oops. Uh, we want to see if um, if the person's swiping right. Well, we want there to be you know the x direction greater than zero, but we also want them to be moving in the x direction more than they're moving in the y direction. I hope that makes sense. So really, you want them to be moving towards the right or left more than they're moving up or down. So how do we accomplish this? We're going to put an and. So it's going to be a multi-conditional if statement. And we're going to use math.fab, so that's absolute. Um, because you can be moving a negative x or negative y, so we're just going to um, eliminate, uh, we're going to just find the absolute value of the x and y just to make sure they're moving in, uh, you know, our x direction more than a y direction. Uh, and we're going to pass in here, so math.fabs pass in swipe dir.x. 
is greater than math.fabs. And we're going to pass in swipe dir uh, dot y. So whether it's positive, if they're moving in a positive x direction or a negative x direction, we just want them to be moving in the x direction more than they're moving in the y direction. And that's how we'll know that uh, it's right. Now we're going to turn this into an else if statement. So, control C, L if swipe dot direction is less than zero now. Uh, so it's the same thing, pretty much. Okay, that's just all it is. You're just swapping that sign, and you still want them to be moving in an x direction more than a y direction. So that takes care of that. Now we're gonna get into up and down. So we're gonna do a couple more L ifs. The first one, we're just gonna swap out the x for y's. And what we're going to do is if uh, swipe direction dot y is greater than zero and the x direction is less than the y direction. So we're just going to swap this sign for both of these. So we want the person to be moving in the y direction more than they're moving in the x direction. And other than that, that's all the changes we have to make. Save your file. And let's go back to PowerShell. I'm going to exit out. Clear. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go left. Did not pick it up. Come on. Okay, I went right that time. It did get it. I'm going to move up. And it's not working. Let me just... All right, sorry about that pause, everyone. Um, I, I kept going in the video, but for some reason my screen recording paused. The answer to that problem where it wasn't getting the up and down, I still had uh, the print message as left for both of these, so to switch it to swiped up and swiped down. That's all the problem was. Um, and I'm going to clear, run this again. So I'm going to go up, go down, go left, go right. Everything's working fine. So that is all I got for you guys. I hope the my friend who asked the question, that helps you. Um... Everyone else, thank you for watching. Please remember to comment, like this video, and subscribe. If you have any tutorial you would like me to make, as you can see, I'm more than willing to uh, do tutorials that people request. Um, so if there's anything you wanted to know, just ask me. I know what it was like to uh, be confused, not knowing how to do something, so I am more than willing to help. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time.